Hey everybody, it's Never, and I'm here in Ashran. Because Ashran took me a while to figure out, it was kind of difficult to find out what to do or how it worked, so I thought I'd make a quick video sort of explaining how it works to everyone so that you can get started in Ashran for the first time. So you're going to need to go in there uh, to Ashran. So you, you're in Warspear or Storm Shield, and you're going to go across, or you're going to go from like the PvE area up into the PvP area. So like up there or up there and then it's gonna say hey do you want to go to Ashran you'll say yes and then it'll say sorry you suck you have to wait in line and so then you'll be in a queue for like an hour or something sometimes like four hours or like uh, once in a while it's like no time and then finally you'll get into Ashran you got 60 seconds after the thing pops to say yes and get into Ashran and it'll most likely happen when you get up to go to, to the bathroom or go food so make sure you never take more than 30 seconds to do that or uh, 60 seconds Otherwise, you'll uh, you'll miss out. So once you get into Ashran, the vendors are like inside the building, or they're like outside the place. And I'll show those next time I'm back to Warspear. Uh, there's several places around the map that have a name. There's Amphitheater of Annihilation, Ring of Conquest, Ashmal Burial Grounds, Molten Quarry, and Brutes Rise. There's a couple of other places, but they don't really get mentioned by name very much. The abbreviations for these that you'll see in chat are AOA. ROC, ABG, or simply BG, MQ, or just Quarry, and Brutes Rise, or BR. So sometimes they just call it Rise. Each of these has an event that happens on a timer and in a cycle. And usually the cycle just moves um, approximately anti-clockwise through, uh, through the map. And doing the events will reward you with conquest points and honor points and sometimes a box that contains gear I think it's dependent on how much you participate but I'm not fully sure of that um, so this event has just started this is the stadium racing so this guy's got a circle around him all you want to do is have as many people as possible inside the circle and that increases the speed that this guy on the cleft hoof goes and you've got to complete three laps before the alliances guy does and naturally, since you cross paths, you're going to be murdering each other the whole time. Or, you know, it might be like, if, you're, if your battle group or however they separate this is like mine, then the Horde will be winning the events almost all the time, and the Alliance will be winning the PvP uh, battle almost all the time. I can't really figure out why, but that seems to be how it is. A recent poll in MMO Champion showed that uh, most of the PV most of Ash ran like 75% of Ashran is dominated by the Alliance PvP wise, but that doesn't take into account the events. So, uh, well, we've got one more lap until this event is finished and then we'll move on to the next event. The way you do this is you walk into Ashran and as soon as you're actually in proper Ashran, you go to General Trash slash one and type invite to event group, please. And then somebody will invite you to the event group and then you'll be in a giant raid full of people. And you go where they go, and you do what they do, and you will get stuff. See, look, we just won that, and I got 250 honor and 125 conquest points. And that's all there is to it. So now, we're going to go somewhere. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to follow people. Oh, we're going into the Warlock Portal's not up. So that's okay. We're just going to go the other way. Some nice Death Knight is giving us Path of Frost, and... Somebody is asking in chat where we're going. Usually you'll have a leader that's telling you where to go, and we're going to MQ, which is the Molten Quarry. So we're going to navigate our way through here to Molten Quarry. I could fly right now because druids get a book that lets them fly, but I'm not going to just to show you how to get there. Every class has several books that they can loot from named NPCs, or, or I guess rather rares, in Ashran, and you can save up to five of each type of them and some of them are really good, some of them are kind of good. There's one that druids get called the Book of Rebirth, which like lowers battle res's cooldown by a lot. Um, NPC scan is really good to have in here. Uh, another thing is the currency for Ashran. It is called Artifact Fragments. You get these every time you are nearby when other uh, enemy players die. And they accumulate to a max of a thousand. You can turn them in for honor, rep with your uh, PvP faction, so Vol'jin, Spear, or whatever the Alliance one is, 
and then you can also use them to buy stuff um, at the same time without cutting into your gains. You can buy the uh, Warlock Portal, you can turn that on, or you can summon some kind of NPC that will fight for your side. So there's stuff that you can do with them, and then, oh, I'm going to take that. Need everything. Everybody needs everything in here. <laughs> If you greet it, you will not get it. Okay, so this one, down here, this event, you collect ore. So you get it on your kitty butt if you're a cat. And you take it and try and put it into your ore cart. And the first side to collect 10 ore wins. So you can see, we're going to win. Because the horde or the alliance has got nothing. And we've got 7. And that's fine. This other druid thinks he's going to kill me, but he's not because there's so many of us. And so I just looted that dude and got like some of his artifact fragments and whatnot. Because when you die, you lose half of your artifact fragments. So if you got 500 and you die, you go to 250. If you then die again, you go to uh, 125 and so forth. And if you loot other players, you get the artifact fragments that they lost. So it's a good idea to turn them in once in a while. And it's also a good idea to kill enemy players. If you're with the group, that's easy. Because everybody can help you kill the players. Right now, everybody's still in Molten Quarry. We're not sure what we're going to do. These bone chip things, um, I can't remember what they're for. If I remember later, then I'll talk about it. <laughs> But uh, that was the Molten Quarry thing. You just pick up the, the ore around there and you turn it in and you get Conquest Points. I started off with like 1,900 Conquest Points and I'm already up to 2,160. Also, I started out with 98 Honor and I'm already at 600. So it you get Honor stupidly fast. You get Conquest pretty darn fast. But you gotta stick with the group. So we're going to Ashmal Burial Grounds it looks like because there's an event that starts here pretty soon. There's also rares that spawn all over the place. Now you can be a superhero and like kill all the alliance and whatnot, or you can just be one of those dudes that just kind of hangs out. Everybody loves a healer, so just come and heal people, find a cool place to stand on, or just like stealth like I do, and fight the alliance when your side is nearby and you can win. And again, need everything in here, everybody does. The rares are what will give you the books that are for your class. And each class has books that do something. Like, I think the Shaman one uh, gives, like, a full epic mount speed to Ghost Wolf and makes you un invisible when you have it on or something like that. Uh, Paladins, I know they can put people in their own little prison, which might be a reference to that Creed song. So there's that. And Warriors get something, I think, that lets them jump over and over again in the air or whatever. So it's really about going around the circle, doing the events. And it seems like they generally follow kind of an anti-clockwise way. But as you can see, we went kind of higgledy-piggledy with that. So I'm not sure. There might be some randomness to how they start up or spawn. But that is the basics of how to do Ashran, is just all of that stuff I just said. Then um, finally, after, uh, after uh, going up to Brute's Rise... Usually everybody will go back to Warspear and turn in all of their stuff, uh, all their uh, fragments, and I'll show you how to do that, where you turn them in, so that you can get rep with your PvP faction, and you can also get just way more honor than you need. Uh, you can literally get a full set of honor gear if you mess around in Ashran for about a full day. It does not take any time. Okay, so this, there's these Risen Spirits, and you just got to push your extra action button and capture them and whichever side captures 10 of them first wins um if you die then any spirits you've captured are lost see how i've got the spirit with me i'm on fire with like spirit fire or whatever so before i can even find another one somebody else is going to be done getting it so there we go there's another 125 conquest and 250 honor just because i was here so now we're gonna let's see where we go next We'll probably head up to Ring of Conquest and see if there's any rares spawned there. The rares are good because they give you the books. Not always, but uh, they, they have a chance to give you quite a few different things. So we'll see what we get. Okay. 
So I'm going to come over here and see how things are going. Okay, it looks like there's at least one, uh, one rare up, but I don't know if that'll be enough. It looks like everyone's going back up to War Spear, so I'm going to head up there with them. You don't want to get too far separated from the group because... Because then you'll be this uh, little lone wolf and you'll get eaten by everyone. So let's go back to War Spear and I'll show you how to turn in the artifact fragments. And there's quests when you first get here that kind of tell you how to do this stuff. But that doesn't mean that it's always telling you exactly right or all the details you need to know. Okay, so there's a bunch of alliance here. If you can stealth, then happy day for you, because this will make your life way easier in here. Stealthing is super useful. Don't try and jump up this way. It's a fool's errand, but if you're a druid, you can, um, you can use wild charge to get up. So once you get in here, you're going to want to uh, turn in your artifact fragments. The NPCs like that you do that with sometimes go fight. So whenever he gets back here, we can turn that in or we can try and find another one. There's different NPCs that do different things. And you'll, you'll just want to decide which ones you turn the stuff into. I never do it to these guys. So I'm not really sure where to talk to them. The guy I usually do is the... Oh, yeah, see, the Alliance is here. And they're gonna, they're gonna, like, beat us and take our base or whatever they always do. Okay, I can't even turn in fragments, it looks like, because everything happened. All right, here we go. Find someone, say, take all of my fragments. I have 27 of them. For those 27 fragments, I got 136 rep and 82 honor. So it looks like everyone's over at Brute's Rise. So that's where we're going to go. Another cool thing is there's um, there's what's called captains, which are like named uh, heroes of the Alliance or Horde. And this hunter really really wants to fight me even though I'm not interested in fighting him and it looks like we missed the event here because we were turning stuff in but that's okay it was either the event or no it was it was this uh, rare that spawned and that's okay Because um, there's plenty of rares that spawn. We might be hanging out here in case the event starts again. This event, um, it's these bonfires, and what they'll do is these turn into capture points, kind of like the flags in Eye of the Storm. And you just capture all five of them, wait for your points to go up. The points will show up right here, uh, or wherever they show up on your UI. And then once you get 1,500 points, you win and get more conquest. Hooray. And that's basically the events. Uh, burial Grounds and Amphitheater and Brutes Rise and Molten Quarry. And that's all of them. And then it's just that and killing the rares. And that's basically the entire uh, group rotation for Ashran. There's other stuff that you can find to do around here. Like there's these little rocks. And you click on them and you get like rocks around you. Then you can throw rocks at people, or this rock, these rocks will give you some defense. And that's kind of neat. There's all kinds of little treasures to find, kind of like in the Grand. So go and do that. And if you're a rogue, you can get this book that makes it so you can just pickpocket uh, artifacts from other players. Which, people make a big old stink about artifact fragments at first. But here's the thing. They're actually pretty useless once you get a full set of honor gear. Once you don't need honor gear anymore, it's just really not that important. So somebody in chat just said that Elder is up. So Elder is, um, he's a named NPC, a rare spawn that shows up, uh, I think he's like down here or something, or he might be, he's in the forest somewhere, but I forget where. There's also a big ogre that spawns over here at the Seat of Korlok that 
Uh, killing them gives you some points, but I'm pretty sure everyone's waiting for the bonfire event. And I want to show you that one so you can see what it's like, so you can see all of them. Uh, this is still really easy, though. Um, another thing I'll talk about is the uh, Colosseum in the garrison. So, inside your garrison... Oh, I can't look at my garrison. No, nope, won't let me. Anyway, inside your garrison, if you get the Colosseum, or just the PvP one, I don't know if the Alliance call it something different, you will start looting this uh, currency called Broken Bones, which you'll need to do some quests and to do the um, event uh, scenario that you can do if, once you get level 3, and also to uh, do the work orders there. Do not stress about getting these at all. Do not go looking for them. Do not worry at all about them because they stack to 5,000. I have almost 5,000 again. I cannot get rid of them nearly as fast as I get them. You'll see that I'm just, there's a steady stream of them coming in all the time because anytime somebody even dies nearby you, uh, you'll get a bunch of bones. You won't be able to spend them all. There needs to be more stuff to do with them. <sighs> Broken bones. It just—it's a good thing they cap at five thousand now because there's nothing to do with all of them anymore. So just save them up and be sad that they take up five slots in your bag after you get so many of them you can't use them. The players that are dying that it keeps track of is. When you get the Gladiator Sanctum, you'll have a quest and you get to choose which race you like really hate on the other faction and you'll get a quest to get 500 uh, kills from that race. You don't have to do the killing blow. You don't even need to fight them. You just need to get an honorable kill from them. And that's it. And so just have that up. I would strongly recommend, if you're Horde, choose humans first. They are by far the most abundant thing. Second, I would suggest Night Elves. <laughs> Maybe Worgen for third. Just choose the common ones first so you can get through it. And uh, if you're Alliance, then for Horde, I would say choose like Orcs or Undead. Blood Elves would be a good choice to choose first. Just pick the common ones first. You just wait till you've got to do Pandaren. You will be on that one forever. So save it till last. Because you want to move through all the others as quick as you can. There's achievements f uh, from them and makes your sanctum look cooler and whatnot all right so here's the fires we are taking control of this fire see we're just standing by it and it's taking over just like eye of the storm once we control all five of them the points just fly up like 50 every second and then we win really quick and we'll get a bunch of conquest and as soon as i'm at 3500 conquest uh, i get a new weapon and it'll be awesome and then i'll actually have a not blue weapon because blue weapons are pretty embarrassing, but the expansion is still pretty new, so what can you do? Uh, you can, you know, go do Ashran and get a better one, that's what. Uh, it's not hard to cap out your conquest. I mean, look at this. Look at that nonsense. I'm going to cap out my conquest way too quickly, and it's nuts. I still haven't gotten one of those boxes, but you get them you get them once in a while. So anyway, uh, I hope the video was helpful to you, and uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions, and uh, if the video helped, please like it, and subscribe to the channel so that you can see all the new stuff coming out, and uh, I don't have a song today. <laughs> oh look, the Alliance are all here. I'm just going to leave. We'll go down to the amphitheater. Ugh. All right, everybody. Okay, thanks. Bye.